Now, the MPP member of parliament for Subin, Eugene Boache, entry has warned that the actions of some of his colleagues who have thrown their support behind some of the candidates in the MPP's presidential primaries may plunge the party into disunity. We have more on this report. Saturday's polls will be undertaken by a limited number of delegates. The delegates are made up of members of parliament, regional and national executives, founding members, national council representatives and regional ministers. Even though these groups have the responsibility of selecting the five to be presented to another set of delegates on November 4, some of them have been actively campaigning for the candidates of their choice. But with less than five days to the polls, the member of parliament for Subin, Eugene Boati Enki, says the way some of the campaigns have been conducted may affect the unity of the party. After all said and done, you need the cohesion and the unity of the party to break the eight. So in case the one you are supporting today or the one you've declared for doesn't win, what to be the case? We saw it in 2007. Way in December, Naneku Fuaru won. It took him months to bring people on board. In the end, we went to that 2008 elections and lost to about 20, 40,000 votes to Professor Mills. A major concern in the lead up to the polls is how the elections committee will ensure a free and fair election. The committee at a press conference on Monday reiterated plans instituted to achieve this. Some of the plans include banning of phones at the voting booth and use of complex serial numbers for the ballot papers. Eugene Boachenke, who supports these moves, however, believe issues of intimidation of delegates are not possible. Sometimes I wonder why people think that people can be intimidated. Was well, I here to be intimidated at an election? You are an, you are, you are an MP. Yes, because at the day, people will go into the booth and do their own thing and come out of the booth. A constituency chairman who perhaps looks up to the MP or who perhaps looks up to the regional chairman who can be easily swayed by these people. No, but that you can't help. We all have relationships. I'm, a, I'm an MP from Ashanti region. I know virtually all the constituency chairmen. I know virtually all of them because I, I, I've worked with them inside the party and I know them. They are, some of them are friends. Some of them are even, have even become more closer than relatives. President Ekufad recently was forced to come out to deny claims that he is supporting any of the candidates. The president revealed that it was important for delegates to be allowed to freely make their own choices. Mr. Boachinchi has urged delegates to uphold the secrecy of ballot principle. Even to declare your vote or to show your vote to somebody publicly, it's a violation of the law. And that vote can be nullified. Yes. It's a violation of the law because a vote to be a secrecy is of vote. in the constitution. A vote, everybody's vote is secret. So I have a right to keep I have a right to keep my vote secret, but I'm not entangled to keep it secret. I can come out and tell who I voted for. Then, then yes, you can come out and say, look, I voted A, but I don't have to show it to anybody. You understand? The fact that you are saying you voted for me doesn't mean it's true that you voted for me. But you probably you probably will tell me I voted for you. That's elections for you. But the fact of the matter remains that by showing your vote openly to anybody, you have, you have violated the laws of the country.